Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation playing as the World Walkers. Don't really get a lot of uh, Norska saving a disaster battles, because um, obviously not many people even play it, and usually a lot of the time the disasters are pretty boring anyway. So, the situation here is that Wolfric has recently captured Karazakarak, and that his army, which is the Mammoth Spam, which, you know, it's, it's on legendary difficulty, so I'd kind of expected that. Um, since that is like the strongest build that you can build for the uh, for the Norskans. Um, but his army is really badly damaged. He's got a lot of replenishment in here, for sure, but it's really badly damaged. And what's going to happen is Thorgrim is going to come over here and attack Karazakrak Crack over the end turn. And he says that the Order Resolve can actually win it. But the, it'll give him such a Pyrrhic victory that, <laughs> that it's not worth Order Resolving. And that he's got like no confidence in fighting it himself because it is a essentially a dwarf doom stack that's coming. And uh, Norskan garrisons absolutely suck. Now, how long would it take him to replace the mammoths? Um, yeah, he didn't build the uh, ruinous kiln, so we'd have to build that first. Um, so yeah, he just doesn't have that ready to go. He has built the extra defenses here, and I think the garrisons are full strength. Yep. So yeah, he's just got a really badly damaged Wolfric. Alright, well, let's just see what we can do here. Um, we could force march Wolfric into the garrison there. Um, but I understand why he's in raid stance in his own region, because he wants to... Um... Wait. Well, yeah, he's trying to save money, but it's only saving about a thousand. Uh, I imagine that's still 50% replenishment. Yeah, that seems like about 50% repl replenishment. So sitting inside the garrison is not going to helping help at all. Um... Honestly, staying in, staying in, um, maybe, I mean, yeah, I think it was just stay in raid stance. It saves them some money. It's not a ton, but I, th we'll just, let's just see what we're going up against. Um, all right, let's see, let's go on. Oh, you know, one thing he hasn't done, he hasn't finished his, uh, campaign objective stuff. Where So he hasn't fought Archeon. He's actually done a lot, like, taking out the Empire and stuff. Like, I would have, I would have, uh, once I've conquered Norska, really focused on, um, trying to fight Archeon to get that 75% upkeep reduction. That'll sort out your economy. So this actually looks like a pretty strong, um, Norska campaign. Aside from just not finishing his campaign objectives. Because Norska is one of the few campaigns where you actually really want to, like, complete your objectives. Well, at least you're not the only one smashing up the dwarfs. And it doesn't seem like the dwarfs are too strong. And the green skins are still active. Green skins are awful against mammoth spam, so you don't have to worry about them as an enemy. Same thing with, um... Actually, most races are terrible against uh, mammoth spam. The faction I found that is best against it is, um... Dark Elves. Alright, so let's have a look at the situation. Here's, here's Thorgrim. We've got... Yeah, it's pretty much a Doomstack here. Order Resolve... Yeah, that's not really... Um, yeah, yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't want to do that. Okay. But here, here's the thing. The way that uh, Thorgrim's positioned there, we're probably going to come at his rear. And the thing is, like, normally, if he like, had a missile-based army, that'd be really bad. But we want to get in as... Like, get in his face as quickly as possible, because Mammoths absolutely destroy infantry absolutely destroy it like armor piercing with huge bonus versus infantry and huge splash damage huge weapon strength like uh i guess being in raid stance actually hurts us a little bit because um we'll lose uh, a little bit of vigor at the start and let's just jump in and see how it goes yeah i think this guy maybe just saw the order resolve and hit the panic button because, like, I can see a very clear thing to do here, and it's not even particularly clever. Like, we just, just charge in. That's it. That's all there is to it. No need to use any magic. We just charge in. Maybe what we do is we use our garrison, right, to pin down as many units as possible, especially the iron drakes and artillery. Don't even, doesn't even matter if these units here get killed. Yeah, don't put in front of that rock, because you'll just have to go around it. Um, don't 
Don't about the flanks too much. So, yeah, just send them up there. And if the dwarf army can just be focusing on pounding down the garrison... Like, here's the thing. The garrison by itself stands no chance against this dwarf army. But if the mammoths crash into the rear of these dwarfs, the dwarfs don't stand a chance against the mammoths. But we don't want to lose any mammoths. So, that's the big thing here. Alright, so, if I just do this... God damn it. There we go. Okay. Bring them in. Okay, really badly damaged mammoths. Go off the side there. But the rest of you... Maybe keep the... I don't think I really need the wizards. That's just a garrison one, so it doesn't matter. Keep the wizards. I don't think I even need the magic. Just keep them out. Okay. Yep, does, doesn't matter if these ones take damage. Doesn't matter in the slightest. It's just fucking garrison. Who cares? Just keep them tied down. Just keep them tied down. Doesn't matter. Just throw them in there. Keep them tied down. Now, where's Wolfric? Speed it up, boy. Yep, that's it. They're just too busy taking out the useless units. And they don't see what's fucking coming at the rear. I mean, they probably see it. They're like, they just didn't prepare at all. The thing is, yeah, like I said, the mammoths will just clean house here. As long as the Iron Drakes didn't get a single shot in, I don't need the magic. Which is weird, because usually they think, Oh, how usually you use magic. But yeah, I don't need it. What do we need it for? Like, look how many of them are already just about dead. Just keep them out of it, and everything should be fine. Because, yeah, mammoths kill every single dwarf unit, apart from gyrocopters, because obviously they, they can't really reach them. Okay, main thing that we want to do here is just make sure that the Iron Drakes aren't shooting at us. The Troll Hammer Torpedo variants. And it's like, just who cares about the garrison? Doesn't matter in the slightest. Okay, this mammoth here is taking a lot of damage, so let's move it out. Go, go back over that way. Actually, go that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said no mammoth will die this day. Come on. Yeah. We were definitely attacking a little bit heavy on one flank. And not heavy enough on the other, but... Come on, over here, guys. We got this. As far as I can tell, no mammoths are dead yet. See what uh, units we got. Don't about the Chrono Command. Don't really need it. And there we go. Army losses. Yeah, the big thing with the the mammoths is just like, just you got to get them out of combat when they're really badly damaged. But when they're in there, they kill things so quickly. Even dwarfs, because one of the big strengths of the dwarfs is that they last a long time. But all their melee defense counts for nothing against. Against the dwarfs. Sorry, against mammoths. This counts for absolutely nothing. Also, we should tell them to stop shooting because they will actually shoot each other. And if we could get rid of Thorgrim, that'll just mean. That's experience. Uh, yeah, he won't get any experience. Yeah, definitely get rid of the Iron Drake Troll Hammer Torpedo. And yeah, because you. Because Norsk has such a high replenishment rate in friendly territory, uh, you'll recover not all of your health, but. Yeah, 50% of it. Some of these will be back to full strength. Oh, I don't think Thorgrim's gonna go. No, I almost got him, but not quite. Alright. 
Yeah, now we took a Pyrrhic victory simply because the garrison took so much damage. If you lose 50% of your units, in terms of numbers, uh, you always take a Pyrrhic victory. But Wolfric himself barely took any damage. There were like two mammoths that got a little bit hurt, but none of them actually died. Whereas the dwarf army, just nothing. Like, who cares about the garrison? It'll just replenish in two turns, as long as it doesn't get attacked again over the end turn. Who cares? Well, you know, I don't see how you're going to get out of that one. Unless you send in some more armies and reinforcements. Krasikarak's not doing too well. I travel the world seeking to... Mm, whatever. There's nothing you can do about that. Nope. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, even if I had recruited an emergency force here, yeah, that's that stuff's way too strong. Yeah, this is some of the problems that Norsk has to deal with. Zero percent chance of winning that. Nothing you can do. It's one of the things that makes Norska such an unsatisfying campaign. Alright, so... Yeah, that's all looking much better. I didn't even use the magic, because I didn't need it. I knew it was going to be a super quick battle. And usually you use magic to thin out the enemy, but I just needed to get in there and, and get them. Um, yeah, you should have enough movement to like finish off Thorgrim and get to the Pillars of Grungni. You, you need to start finishing this stuff off here, because you're missing out on that 75%. Uh, upkeep reduction from... Defeating the Warriors of Chaos. Of course, you'll need a couple of armies over here because they, they tend to spawn six armies. Um, you know, you've got enough finances to, to sustain your army for a few turns. But the thing is, capturing more territory isn't going to necessarily give you more money. No, you're really going to defeat the Warriors of Chaos at this point. I think I think what he's been trying to do is try to get like maxed out on all of these. Um, my advice is just pick one and go with it. Um, I usually go for um, the purple one here, which I think is Slanesh, the Serpent's Champion of the Serpent, because, yeah, the color matches the Chaos God. So this one here, the Hound is Corn, the Eagle is Zinch, the Crow is Nurgle, and, Pup and the Serpent is um, Slanesh. All right, cool. But yeah, uh, the camp, uh, you've done well considering that uh, you haven't actually done that, because you should have done that, like, turn 226, you should really be aiming to fight the Warriors of Chaos around turn 100, um, leaving it this late, I mean, you can just knock off so many supply lines, like, yeah, so we're at 90% there, and a 75% upkeep cost reduction will bring you down to, what's that, 15%? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, well that's the end of this one here, guys. I, I don't really see any more that I need to do here. You just have to play the campaign. Losing that settlement over there, I think... I mean, it doesn't matter that much. It, it hurts because he, he could have had an upkeep cost reduction. Oh, you've got an army here. Ugh, you can call that an army. Yeah. Yeah, fragmented like this. Look, in my opinion, you're actually better off, like, disbanding this force and just let this, let this collapse. Because you're you're not really getting a lot of value out of it, and it's just not worth defending. Like it's it's not making any serious money. And sure, you can reduce your upkeep cost here by two percent, but getting rid of this one here um, can get rid of fifteen percent. Yeah, and just just go invade Norska. Uh, sorry, invade um invade the Dark Elves later. Maybe what you could do here is try to get them to join war against them. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, the, the late campaign for Norska sucks. This is really, especially on this difficulty. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Appreciate you guys. Hope you learned something from this. Sometimes you just got to YOLO win. Sometimes using cheese and fancy tricks just isn't needed. Sometimes you just have to do the most brainless thing ever and just durr into the battle. And uh, that's actually the best way to go about it. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.